Holy smokes. You're not gonna believe all this. This is an actual Suzuka bike. Yeah. For what year? 1986. Wow. Man, that's mind blowing. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at the detail. Oh, Yoshimura Carfs. Yeah. This is the actual Yoshimura bike. Yeah. Wow. To do bike. Wow. Hey friend, smash that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Also, we have hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you. And then we started adding uh, timestamps. So a lot of the videos you can jump around and get right to the information you want. And then we even start adding captions so you can pick your language. Enjoy the video. The video I'm about to show you is very special to me. I'm about to show you a private tour of the iconic Yoshimura Bright Logic Shop. A very special thank you to Manny for going completely out of his way to give How to Wrench this very special Friday evening with the one and only Mr. Osamu Takinaka. I asked Mr. Osamu-san just for some information about his career so I could put here in the video. Hopefully I didn't miss anything or get this wrong in translation, but here goes. From 1981 to 1994 were epic years with uh, Yoshimura. In 1994, that's when Bright Logic started, which is kind of wild because that's when I went to college for motorcycle technology and would have seen him popping up in those magazines. And then I asked him how many years building motorcycles. He put 82 to current. I have a feeling it might have even been longer than that. During those years of 1982 to 1994, he worked with racers in all aspects. From 2005 to 2014, he participated in the Suzuka 8 Hour as a member of the Yoshimura team. In particular, many of us Americans are big fans of Kevin Schwantz. And then he worked with Kevin and Satoshi Sujimoto's 8-Hour uh, Racer in 2014. They did everything, even including the geometry. Some real career highlights, 1986 Daytona 200, uh, 1987 Daytona 200 second place with Mr. Swantz, 1987 AMA Superbike again with Mr. Swantz, and then he was a mechanic in America for Yoshimura USA. Another person they worked with, uh, another famous American racer, was Wes Cooley. So those should be some fun names for some Americans recognizing those racers. As humble as I found Mr. Osama-san to be, I have a feeling this is a very small list of the career highlights that he has seen working in the two-wheeled industry. I must say I had no idea Manny had such a great treat for me. And I felt completely in shock when we rolled up to the building and I saw the bright logic on the sign. When I realized who was giving their night to spend with me, I felt completely grateful and I was in shock. As you can see in our tour video, I had only a phone to shoot the video and was completely starstruck. I feel I owe Mr. Osama-san an apology for not giving the best interview. It was hard to feel worthy in the presence of such a historic motorcycle builder and the career of this man. You will hear the shock in my voice as I realize what I'm looking at during the tour. Hopefully you can almost feel the goosebumps I was getting. I couldn't believe I was touching these motorcycles in person, let alone standing in the shop of the craftsman that built them. I would find myself lost in their beauty and the Japanese craftsmanship for so long, I would keep apologizing to Mr. Osama-san for the long pauses as I studied them. He so kindly would just smile and say, take your time. I grew up dreaming of motorcycle racing like a lot of us did, reading issues of motorcyclists and Cycle World magazines in high school study hall. Never would I have dreamed that someday I would get to call some of these writers my dear friends. I posted some of my adventures with former sport writer, journalist, and racer, and all-around good human Lance Holtz. He and his wife Margo have been so kind to me over the years, and now our visits are weekend-long bench racing stories. In college, my roommate Takohito Honda gave me my first real insight into Japanese motorcycle racing and culture. He introduced me to so much by us drooling over these Japanese motorcycle magazines he would get for me. If anybody knows how to find or get a hold of Takohito Honda for me, I would love to reconnect with him. Drop me a message if you think you have any way you can help with that in Japan. Well, can you guess what company was always there in those magazines? Winning races, building dream machines, and exotic race parts? Yeah, you guessed it. It was Bright Logic and Yoshimura. So shocked to see that race truck when we pulled up to the shop. All right, my friends, please enjoy the tour, some history, and my evening with my new friend, Mr. Osama-san, and uh, his Bright Logic shop tour. May he take me up on my offer to mentor under him someday and build a Bright Logic How to Wrench project. Uh, it would be my honor. Enjoy the tour, my friends. <gasps> oh, I love it. No way. I can't believe I'm here. 
Oh, wow, look, quick change axle. What's here? Wow, this is so rad. Wait till you see the headlight on this. It's so cool. It's so amazing. Look at that. I'm actually touching it. <laughs> Yoshimura tank. Look at that. Look at that exhaust hanger. Brace swing arm. Wow, that is so wild. Look at that. Quick pull axle. Whew. So I'm at a place called Bright Logic. And this is a former uh, Yoshimura mechanic. I'm sure there's a lot to see in here and talk about. But look at, there's a couple of the new katanas. Wow. Oh, look at this one, Olin's. Looks like it's super tricked out. Where what the bottle is. Wow. So awesome. Limited edition. English card. Oh, English. <laughs> Thank you. What do we got here? Yes, I got wow, everything's to... so wild. 2011? The... Yep. Yep. Ah, 2010. 2010? Yep. Yes. I'm going to, so with Yasmina, going to uh, World Superbike. Oh. So, Italy. Wow. Then, so, we're Yoshimura Pit. Uh huh. The next pit is, so, Viach. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then oh. I, I got in, inside the pit, then many pictures. Yeah. Then, like, coming back, they're almost the same, like I'm making. Oh, wow. That doesn't look anything like a Hayabusa. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> look at this tail section. Yes, yes. Is that off a 750 or 1000 or so custom yes, tank? Yes. Well, same thing here too. Yes, yes. Wow, it looks so much better. Oh, geez. Everything has the quick fill tank. Yes. Oh, look at the handlebars. Oh. oh, look at that. I make it. I love the detail. Very, very amazing. Oh, man, the headlights on these are so rad. Oh, just be a shame not looking at these older ones, too. Oh. All right, what's the story with this one? Uh, so this is Yoshinura. Uh-huh. So making only five bikes. But... One bike uh, crushed with nothing. Okay. All, all over the world. Okay. Now, so only four bikes. Wow. So everything very common. Very common. Then, so many there. Fifty. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I saw this in magazines. Oh, that's a turn signal. Yeah, that thing is so unbelievable. Can't even imagine what these forks cost. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that is wild. And this is your workshop? Yeah. Wow. Can I see? Yes, I don't. This is my favorite part. K7. Yep. Oh wow, busy. These are getting so popular in America, all mm -hmm. the restorations. Yes, yes. Crazy, putting all modern suspension on and... Oh, frame machine? Like, yeah. Shock. I'm like a kid in a candy store here. Mm. 
Oh, geez, another one. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, my goodness. This header is yeah. like a work of art. Yeah. Whose is that? Wow, never see anything like that. Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. Oh, jeez. What? <laughs> what is that? That's the old engine. Yes, Oh, this is completely out of this world. Right. I, I'm out looking. of this world. I think you will be the top one. Yeah. Formula One. This is swing of the Formula One yeah. for Japan. Wow. Yeah. So, for pain, single shot. Sure, yeah. Yes. The rear sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, the body is mind blowing. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Oh. So this this is aluminum tank. Aluminum tank. So are you building this for a customer? Yeah. Wow. What would that cost in America? A lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I send it to US. Yeah. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Wow, that is unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I make so this aluminum tank mm -hmm. with a katana. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this tank and uh, Oh, wow. GS thousand. Sure, yeah, yeah. And they're aluminum? Yes. Aluminum? So all, all of I have so model. I can so making so everything. Oh. Man, this is so wild. Nice big lathe. Wow. Nice. No. This is a great great workspace. Well that's interesting. Well this is cool. So you can crank it up. Yeah, that's wild. So this is so I'm making for uh Yoshimura Mhm. So make it. You said you're making this for Yoshimura? Yeah. Wow. Wow. And before, you saw, and so, 1981, uh -huh. started to 1994. For, from Yoshimura, from only race, from mechanic. Wow. I bet you have some stories. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you have some stories. Well, well, thank you for letting me tour your shop. This is just amazing. What, uh, oh, wow, look at the Olin's yeah. conventionals. Just don't see stuff like this. You don't walk into anything like this in America, nothing. <laughs> What my YouTube channel is, we have over 800 videos teaching people how to be a technician. Mm -hmm. So I taught a tech school for a lot of years and very passionate about making sure that we get all your information and teach people. Wow. <laughs> That's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. But this is a whole nother level of craftsmanship. I mean, whole nother level. What else am I not seeing here? Just massive. So, you're going to U.S. Yoshimura? U.S. Yoshimura? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yoshimura. When I worked for Suzuki USA, they were right down the road. I got to go in and say hi a few uh -huh. times when I worked for Suzuki, but I didn't get didn't get uh, tours or connected or anything at that time. But 
Hey YouTube, just thought you'd just appreciate seeing this amazing equipment here. Oh, it just doesn't end. Look at the paint job on this. Look at that. Wow. Flat sides. Look at the adapters in there. Yosh forks. Just doesn't end. Look at this place. I almost could say nothing and just like walk around. Another limited. Another one. I could just walk another limited. Unbelievable. I could just walk around here and not say anything and people would be freaking out. Wow, look at this thing. That's another Yoshimir bike. Another one. Wow. So freaking rad. This is unbelievable. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Let's just walk around. Oh, yeah. oh, it's my era growing up. Wow, so wild. Another Yoshimura bike. It's so crazy. Wow. This is so, so wild. A little bit of everything. To finish off the tour, he took me upstairs to the attic, and there was just body after body from World Superbike, some really rad Yoshimura carbon fiber bodywork. We grabbed aluminum gas. We had triple trees that are World Superbike spectrum. Just started kind of digging through some parts and pieces, and it was just pretty wild, the inventory from this era that's in this building. Like half the stuff should be in a museum hanging up. It was really cool. I, I can't thank Mr. Osamu-san just so much for such a price. A salute to an amazing man with an amazing career. And once again, How to Wrench looks forward to coming and seeing you again in the future. All right, my friends, as always, like, share, subscribe, make it a great day, and keep wrenching. As promised, here's the bonus content for the photos from the trip. It was just awesome. It always seems like there's a million people I want to thank to make anything happen. The first thing I want to thank are friends at Bright Logic, of course, and then secondly, Manny. Man, what a deal for you to just go so far out of your way. I was, it was just awesome. And then my buddy Dan, he uh, hooked me up and taught me how to run the train system. I wouldn't have known how to get there. And then uh, last, I just like thank our community. We really picked this special video with the intent that we want something really special to be the first video when we hit 100,000 subscribers. So from every sub to every person I get to meet on the road to every person I get to work with in the How to Rent shop to every tech line customer to all of you i from the bottom of my heart thank you for being here and i hope you enjoy the rest of these photos
Ring, ring, ring.